Come all you young sailors and listen to me. I'll sing you a song of the fish in the sea. And it's windy weather, boys, stormy weather, boys. When the wind blows, we're all together, boys. Blow ye winds westerly, blow ye winds blow. Jolly southwester, boys, steady she goes. That's right. Why don't you step aboard as I tell you a tale of the sea and the eldritch horrors that wait beyond. Come with me as I tell you the tale of Dredge. The morning light fills your eyes, and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Oh well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but... Get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. And here we are with our initial vessel. And so here we go. Exploring on our first fishing expedition. Rotate the, rotate the camera, yes. Absolutely gorgeous day. Move to a fishing spot, look for splashes on the surface, and press F to start fishing, and so we shall. Disturbed water, medium stock, coastal. Okay. And there we are. Cod. Species added to encyclopedia. Uh, place, rotate, and discard. So it looks like we have a limited cargo inventory. I see, so it's kind of a Tetris-esque inventory that we have to deal with. Okay. Now, what do we have here? Our cabin. We've got our pursuits, which I assume to be our quests of sort. Fresh start. Catch a fish for the day. Met the mayor of Greater Marrow, who sent me out to catch some fish and find my bearings. Seems nice enough. Warned me to be back before nightfall, though. Said something about fog. A bit dramatic. Catch as many fish as I can, then head back to Greater Marrow. Simple enough. And uh, the encyclopedia. So here we're, we'll seem to have a compendium of the different fish that we catch. Uh, I assume this is some sort of record. So this is two feet, three inches, if we're using the imperial system. Uh, and also the various locations in which we may have caught them as well as the implements in which we used to catch them. And so I'm sure as we uh, foray out farther and farther into more exotic locales, we'll catch more fish, including whatever the, uh, the eldritch or demonic iterations that we're likely to see. Okay, so it's 8.09 right now. We want to make sure that we don't rest on our laurels. We'll catch as many as we possibly can. The stock is high. 
I'm not sure what that um, means for our purposes. If that means uh, the stock means there's quite a few of them, and so therefore we can fish a few times. It looks like that is, in fact, the case. Okay, and uh, let's see. We'll place it somewhere up there along the edges. Why don't we keep for, uh, going a little bit farther afield just to try to catch a nice variety now, I'm not sure exactly what time sundown is meant to occur. I don't have the right equipment for this spot. Okay. So it's possible that we may not be able to fish outside these rocks. In which case, uh, let's just go ahead and stay inside the buoy. Time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. So you can see here, as we've stopped moving, the time has stopped advancing. So that is actually uh, excellent to know. Right, a little off, a little off timing. I see. Okay, that actually uh, burnt a decent amount of time. So I'll need to look out for that in the future. Now I do see a bottle out there. I would really dearly love to pick it up before the fog sets in. And we seem to be close enough that uh, it shouldn't be a uh, too too much of a risk to get back. August 20th, 1927, added to the cabin. So this is a message in a bottle. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon, and our first day proper. Oh, it's an extensive message. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of the Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night. Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it. But I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I could see the basket half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. So there's likely to be survivors of, well, perhaps not survivors, but um, victims of, of previous crashes uh, that we'll come across and uh, learn a little bit about their history. Now, I wonder um, exactly what time, like, as I said, we're supposed to get, be getting back. I, th I believe that's what this uh, sort of... Um, almost a, a, the scale of color in the top right under, under the time is meaning. That's so the anchor is likely where we are, and the, the, black, um, the black portion of that scale is where it's dangerous to fish. All right, we are not able to dredge for the spot. Why don't we go ahead and head back to port? Because I'm nervous that if we're out here too late, then we're going to uh, regret our our choice. And it looks like uh, select your lights by holding E, then toggle them. Nope. Uh, let's see here. Oh, our lights are on now. I see. Helps us to see in the dark, which is excellent. We'll go ahead and dock up here. It looks like we're getting back just in time. You step onto the dock at Greater Narrow. Marrow, pardon me. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you have returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, You'll need to sell the fish to the local market, paying off your debt, 
and in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Uh, we should go ahead and perhaps query a bit more where do I sell the fish. Our local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Off you go then, sell those fish while they're still fresh. So we've got a little bit of a base here, which is nice to see. Uh, and so this is presumably where we'll be able to sell the fish and purchase upgrades for our vessel. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Y'all the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. Uh, let's be polite. What's your name? There's no sense in getting familiar. You'll be on your way like the rest of them soon, no doubt. Anyway to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you've got a st uh, you still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you've got. Alright, sell all fish. I don't see why not. Okay, so... Our debt was adjusted, so uh, there was $56 worth of fish, but a portion of that, as the mayor mentioned, went to uh, defraying the town's expenses. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? And this is a research part. A curious looking component could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at a dock first. So, uh, we'll stick this over here. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. $41 remaining, so that loan is actually not quite as extensive as I had uh, anticipated. Let's take a look at our research. Use parts to research new equipment. Researched equipment will appear for sale in shops. So we've got rods, which will allow us to catch additional types of fish. Mangrove coastal versus volcanic shallow. Uh, this does all four of them. This does abyssal and hadal. Hadal? Hadal? Uh, this includes oceanic. And this is all of the above. So that's just rods. Engines. So I assume uh, this, yeah, so this increases the speed. Efficient propeller design makes this a reasonable engine for those on a budget. And this would increase our speed, which would make it even more efficient, uh, you know, when we're out and about. And then pots and nuts we don't seem to be able to look at quite yet. Um, we will, uh, we'll hang on to that for the moment. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors round here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks, or any damage at all, I could patch it up. Mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. Take a look round. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. So plan ahead. So I don't believe anything will need um, repairing at the moment. It does look like this is something that we can purchase, but we're too poor to afford it at the moment. But this is 75, and this is 150. Um, these are more engines. Won't get far with this. No, I wouldn't think so. Trawl nets and lights. Um, these could potentially be useful. Cracked bulbs, cloudy lenses. Again, we'll probably have to do a few days of fishing before we're able to afford anything along those lines. But research parts, uh, let's consider what we want to do. I would think that perhaps moving towards a uh, better engine would be preferable. It looks like we can't 
necessarily allocate the points right away. I'm trying to click on it and it's not uh, it's not applying. So we probably need to fully gain all four um, research parts before we can go ahead and apply it. But it's just letting us know that we do have some here. Uh, let's check in with the mayor um, just to see if there's any additional things that we can discuss. Uh, let's go ahead and ask about the wider region. Certainly. Is there somewhere in particular you wish to know more about? Uh, let's go ahead and just learn as much as we can. The Gale Cliffs. Well, the main port over there is a place called Ingfell. It's right on the approach to the cliffs. You can't miss it. It's a whaling town, but I haven't heard much talk of it these days. I think quite a few people have left, one way or another. Is there another area? Yes, the Stellar Basin. Quite a popular tourist destination. There's a resort on the atoll, built on top of a beautiful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy you getting your hooks into some of those. Okay, so that's the cliffs, the basin, the twisted strand. Hmm, I don't think there's much to tell. It's just a tangled mass of trees. It's often blanketed in a thick fog, even during the day. You'll want some good lights and a good sense of direction if you're to go exploring there. All right, so that's a little bit out of our range at the moment. And the Devil's Spine. Ah, yes. It's quite exciting, really. An active volcano amongst a city of ancient ruins. I must caution against sailing there, however. The ruins lie low in the water and would surely tear through your hull. Not to mention the aforementioned volcano could erupt at any moment. You can occasionally hear it rumbling from here. Hmm. So that is for sure an end game location. Uh, what happened to the last fisherman? Hmm. The last fisherman. Oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on the reef, even in broad daylight. The shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Okay. Uh, pay off some of our debt. So I think for the time being, we will hang on to our money. I know that there's going to be interest that's going to be continually uh, taken from from uh, whatever we bring in. But I would like to at least get ourselves a better engine before we go about paying the debt. And then I would maybe consider defraying some of those. Um, so right now it's dark, which means we should probably rest until dawn. And that is a significant portion of the day that's uh, unavailable to us, which is why getting a, a quicker engine and maybe some lights uh, which will perhaps allow us to fish during the night would be, uh, would be preferable. All right, let's be very strategic about this. I think we'll stay relatively close to the town for now. Until we're able to pay off our debt and uh, perhaps get a better engine. Another and there's that. Extremely tranquil, isn't it? We may as well exhaust the stock. Uh, I would think. I'm not exactly sure what the strategy is. The spot has been depleted. All right, but that's fine. And but we've got it. We caught a trophy fish. So I think we will just uh, continually deplete the closest fishing spots. We don't have the right equipment for the spot. Okay, try to remember that. All right, we are making pretty good progress with this. Here we are. We are going to come back with a full hold. No doubt about it. Uh, 
All right, another shallow. Uh, we'll come over here to this center one. I wonder if uh, if we were to leave the fish uh, and not fully deplete the stock, uh, whether they would refill over time. Or if that's just gone for good. I guess we'll have to see in the future, huh? Alright, our hold is getting pretty full. That's actually not necessarily a bad thing. Alright, one more should do it. And there we go. We're pretty much full up, and it's probably about time to start heading back anyway. Um, should we do one more? Let's do one more. Getting a little greedy here. There we go. Alright, a fully stocked hold, which is great to see. Now I wonder what this uh, horn is meant to do. We see a fog horn here. Makes your presence known. Light up the night. Stronger lights lessen the effects of panic. Uh, panic is concerning. Oh, I see here. We can just right click, left click. Okay. So we're almost to town anyway, so it should be no problem. Okay. So, Fishmonger, let's go ahead and drop it all off. I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you could fulfill it, I'll pay you above the normal prices. Uh, for sure. Let's hear about it. They asked for one gulf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch those. The shipwright should be able to sort that out for you. Alright, well, um... I guess there's no reason to hang on to fish for the time being, is there? I can't think of one. At the moment, at least. Alright, so we've sold it off. Uh, now we're sitting at 176. Only $18 remaining. I wonder if we should just go ahead and pay off our remaining debt so that anything that... Anything else that we bring in is ours. Let's pay off our debt. Um... We'll just do the remaining debt. There we go. Fantastic. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, what can we purchase now? Alright, so this is um, the shallow line, and let's see what the difference is. Uh, makes for limited reeling speed. Oh, I see. This is 40%. I see, yeah, so there really is no reason to not just get the better uh, shallow um, the better shallow rod. It's going to take three hours to install. I wonder if they if she can work overnight, though. But let's go ahead and do that. We're going to need that anyway. Um, install. Yes. Okay, there we go. So now we can uh, now we are able to fish in the shallows. Uh, next thing we'll need to do is engine speed. Uh, repair mode. Let's see. Fix damage and restore durability. Okay, no, I don't... We, we don't have anything we need to repair at the moment. I'm wondering, though, if this repair part... I guess we're going to expend it whenever we, um... Whenever we get an upgrade, but I've realized now it's not extremely... Not an extremely good area for it to be, because it's right where the engine would be. Uh, getting a light would probably be nice as well. I don't know what our current light situation is. It says that there's nothing here on the front. However, we do have some kind of lights aboard, apparently. Um, since we're able to turn it on. But we should probably grab a light, uh, just in case we get caught out accidentally after sundown. So, mute multiple lenses. Install time is an hour. Um, I wonder if, if it only lasts for a certain amount of time. It, you know, which is why there's multiple, or, or what the situation is there. But in any case, we're too poor to afford it at the moment. And here we go. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood, with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, 
I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. Feeling is mutual. Let's see what this dry dock is all about. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. Which I could find where? I assume floating out there somewhere, right? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast, from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get, to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. That's good, because our storage space is presumably limited aboard the ship. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've got uh, cargo spaces modified to hold rods, and we've got, like, uh, wooden boards, screws, and I don't know if that's, like, fabric, something like that. We've got uh, net space. We've got something to incre uh, increase the durability of the hull to add new cargo spaces, uh, more engine power, and more lights. So those, those seem to be kind of the four basic um, equipment types. Rods, nets, engines, and lights. Now we for sure will want to get more rods because we want to be able to catch more types of fish. And I guess that's the incentive towards working up the rod research tree because some rods can catch multiple types of fish, which means there's less cargo space needing uh, being needed to de dedicate towards that. So that kind of makes sense to me. Uh, we can't afford anything for the time being, obviously. Uh, the fishmonger... Huh. Not all schools of fish are the same. Some contain abnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell just by looking from the surface. Interesting. We'll be on the lookout. But I think we... That's all we are doing for now. Okay. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? Uh, well, not to state the obvious, but I've come here to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Hmm. Well, thank you, creepy innkeeper lady. Oh, the mayor's got something else for us as well. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? The contents don't feel like anything at all. Just a wrapped mess of shapes. You know what? Sure thing. Anything for you, Mr. Mayor. The mayor hands you a small damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Alright, so we're on a mission for the mayor. And let's see here. Is the map... Yeah, I was going to say map is presumably M. So Greater Marrow. Uh, we have not visited here yet, I guess. Uh, let's just practice placing a marker for the fun of it. I wonder if it'll appear on the horizon whenever we move out. Now I'm guessing each there's no legend here, but uh, but it stands to reason that these black dots are ports, um, which makes sense because we would need a way to go somewhere for the night. So why don't we go ahead and sail across the bay? Presumably that is Little Marrow. And now, actually, why don't we stop by here? Oh, inspect. A floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. 
That is good to know, since there seems to be some kind of panic mechanic. Did not mean to rhyme, but there we are. Talented guy. All right, so now we can uh, go ahead and start fishing in this shallow area. Gulf flounder. Now we're quickly going to run out of space with um, this particular type. All right, we'll throw them here. And sure, we'll go ahead and exhaust it, I guess. May as well. Right there. All right, we don't have enough... We don't have space for that type anymore. So let's keep it moving. We should be able to make it across the bay. And uh, we'll go ahead and work on this while we're here. All right, holy mackerel. There we are. Yeah, cargo space is quickly becoming an issue, especially with these uh, these eels. Right there, and we can just get one more. Oh, I see. So whenever that little smaller yellow icon appears, that means there's a uh, possibility of a trophy catch, which presumably is uh, worth a bit more. Okay, so why don't we come over here, drop off the package, assuming that this is little marrow. And uh, maybe we can clear our hold. <laughs> Dock worker. Hmm. What? Delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Mm. Yeah, nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. Mm. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get much more out use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. Let's go ahead and see what this book is meant to be. Sustainable Fishing. Read to unlock. Select it as an active book. Past time to read. Oh, interesting. So it's not something that we will literally read together. It's, uh, we have to just sort of tread water somewhere, <laughs> more or less, and we make progress on it. Okay. I wonder if that's going to give us maybe experience points or allow us to catch additional types of fish. Um, past time to read. So does that mean, I guess resting wouldn't count, obviously. Does that, so is this something that we're doing in, in lieu of fishing or traveling? I guess we'll have to experiment. All right. Pursuits. So we're just looking for the flounder and the eel, which are both shallow types. Okay. We're tracking that in the encyclopedia. We've got the flounder there. Okay. Uh, pass the time. Now that is not an option I'm seeing out here. Let's just go ahead and check in with the trader real quick. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello? Is that? No, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Um, well, I've got some mackerel, but I don't somehow I don't think you're in the you're in the market for that. Okay. Well, so much for that, and then my storage. So, I can put fish there, but again, I'm not sure what the point of storing fish would be. Um, interesting. So, let's not do that. So, the research parts, we're still only sitting at one for the time being. Uh, I wonder, is it advantageous for us to go back to Big Marrow, Greater Marrow, whatever, at the end of the day? Uh, and also, how are we meant to pass the time? So, let's see. Let's just come over here and go out here to the middle. Have we made progress? Yeah, 1% complete. So, it looks like we'll just passively make progress on it 
while we're not catching fish. Interesting. Um, well, our hold is full right now. So there's nothing really to be done other than just going back and dropping off what fish we have. It's a shame that we won't be able to take advantage of these other two on the way, but... Them's the breaks. Absolutely beautiful. Like, the music, the environment, the aesthetics. I want to stop by uh, that little cottage over there at some point. But really, really beautiful. Okay. Hopefully this should sell for a decent chunk. Alright, I do have some fish. Just leave whatever you have here. Uh, what did we catch? We caught the flounder. And we don't have any eel. Okay, so we're done with that. Alright, now to regular business, eh? Some fish prefer deeper water, while others stick to the shallows. If you're looking for something specific, it's important to know what depth you're working with. Alright, let's sell it all off. 79. Uh, so we're rocking 112 dollars at the moment. Uh, can we get any upgrades with that? Strengthened lines can catch larger and deeper fish. So what that says to me is that rods can sustain damage in addition to the boat, right? Restores durability to all pieces of equipment. Oh, interesting. So, where can I see the durability status of my gear? Uh, it says status operational. So I guess maybe that's just a status effect that will change over time. Maybe it'll say, like, degraded or something to that effect. Uh, research part. Actually, I could pick this up here. Oh, yeah. That's that's what I wanted to do. There we go. So now we could we could throw... Um, this over here if we wanted to. Okay. So an engine. Um, it'll give us an additional little boost to, to speed. Is that something that's worth? So this is giving us 14 uh, knots. This would give us additional 10 knots. I say we do it. We're broke again. But, I mean, I would like to be able to get out farther and faster. Yeah, be careful of rocks, of course. Um, so, I almost want to, like, just sort of tread water here at the moment so we can make progress on the book. Let's turn on our light. There we go. I don't know how much progress we've made. Let's see. 16% progress on our book. Alright, so now it's nighttime. We may as well go ahead and, um... I don't think there's anything that we can do here. Yeah, so that's just for any sort of detritus we pick up. So we'll just, uh, rest until dawn. And I wonder if it's worth exploring a new location. Or is that a little bit ambitious? Okay, we definitely have got some more zip to to uh, to us right now. Um, I'm wondering if this is where the other shallow fish that the fishmonger is looking for is. Yes, looks like it. Ooh, okay. Oh, yikes, that's tricky. Okay. Uh, let's throw that in here. I guess let's grab a couple of them. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll throw that there. Very, very, uh, takes some getting used to. <laughs> in terms of the timing. We'll throw that there. And, uh, you know what? Sure, we'll, we'll finish this one up. And, uh, stick it there. Alright, spot has been depleted. Roger that. So there we go. Um, there's a little inlet back there. I wonder, is it worth just taking a look? Um, doesn't really look like there's a whole lot back there. I mean, it even might be an oceanic fish, which would not be a good use of our time, because we can only catch coastal and shallow right now. 
Uh, Encyclopedia has given us more information on this great eel. Uh, why don't we just keep working on depleting these fishing spots nearer to the town? Oh, this is already oceanic. So I wonder if anything sort of beyond the spot is going to be oceanic. Let's test that theory. Let's go over here. I wonder if there's any, like, visual indicators as to what type of fish, uh, and we still can't dredge. Let's go a bit farther. Is this also oceanic? Or because it's near shoreline, is it shallow? It is shallow. Okay. Oh. I see. I see the issue. Um, okay. Well, in this case, we're going to have to discard it, which is a shame. Okay. Well, we're going to have to head back and drop off what we have uh, in this particular instance. Hopefully, over time, we'll start to kind of get the, um, you know, the, uh, the routine a little bit quicker so that we don't have to sort of belabor each run. And let's see how much this haul should bring. So, that whatever was in that package that we delivered for the mayor, it seemed extremely suspicious. Uh, I wonder if there's some kind... There's something that the mayor knows that he is um, being a, a little bit circumspect about. So we do, in fact, have the eel. There we are. And 5072. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. I should be pleased with these. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. I want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. I don't see many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. All right, we'll go ahead, sell it off. Um, so it seems like it's it's leading us to the point where we need to be able to fish at night, but that is gonna be uh, challenging for sure. All right, so we're rocking a hundred and something uh, right now, 133. Why don't we go ahead and grab, uh, I guess, this cracked bulb to start with? Is that a, is that a good use of our of our time? This is operational. This is still operational. We don't need to to worry about um, repairing anything at the moment. But I'm guessing that us having a, a light is going to be helpful. So we'll throw that up here. Go ahead and install it. Okay, interesting. So why don't we um, see what that light does for us? I'm actually going to get a little bit uh, greedy here. And see what kind of uh, panic we might encounter get shop, uh, you know, fishing out here at night. All right, this has been fully depleted. All right, we are in the danger zone. Ooh. Oh, there we go. The f there's the... Uh, that's exactly what we were looking for. There's the squid. Wonderful. An excellent start. Put that there. Uh, let's go ahead and finish that off. And that will go there. And that will go there. All right, has been depleted. All right, so now we see this eye at the top of the screen. So there's some kind of, uh, I don't know what kind of panic um, indicator that is, if that's if that's like whatever Eldritch Entity's um, ability to attack us, or if that's our own panic, but we do in fact have the fish for the order. Uh, we got two squid. Rotate that, there we go. And then what's this one here? The black grouper. It's shallow fish. Uh, apparently it can only be caught at night, I think is what they were saying. We're 73% into our book. Two arrow squid and one black grouper. Okay. Excellent. Well, um, let's go ahead and sell this off. And let's pass some time. 
And then we may stay out there a little bit later than normal. Um, just so because it seems like the black grouper are going to be um, only spawning at night as well. So it does look like these uh, replenish after a while. So uh, we've we've already depleted it. So it looks like oh grotesque mackerel. That's that's new. Interesting. We'll take a look at that here in a second. A grotesque mackerel. Show the fishmonger. Caught a strange looking fish. Never seen anything like it in all my years. It died as soon as it was pulled from the water, but its scales were still pulsing with a strange rhythm. Don't want to handle it anymore. Have headache and ears are ringing slightly. Maybe the fishmonger at Greater Marrow will know more. So we'll check in on that for sure. Grotesque mackerel. Corrupted scales and bulbous eyes like nothing you've ever seen before. Uh, yeah, there is more than meets the eye in this uh, town. I'm not just talking Transformers. Alright, this is probably something that's dredging, uh, which we cannot catch, unfortunately. We're going we're gonna to get a little bit farther afield here. Alright, another blue mackerel. Um, throw that up there. I wonder what kind of strategy there is in terms of whether you should deplete the uh, the particular spot or not. Interesting. Uh, why don't we check this little inlet over here to the side? Oh, that's more uh, material to dredge. Uh oh. I need to be more careful. So hull damaged, gulf flounder lost overboard. That is unfortunate. So even a small little tap will uh, will do it. That's good to know, though. All right, we finished sustainable fishing. That's uh, that's good. And this is what damage does. It removes uh, some cargo space, and it looks like three damage means uh, the destruction of our vessel. So we I'll be more careful in the future. But it's good to know uh, what's at stake. Oh shoot. All right, so that is that. Um, let's go ahead and start heading back. We'll probably be out a little bit after our uh, our curfew, so to speak. But that will be interesting to see what happens. We have enough money from the catches that we've made so far that we should be able to repair no problem. Well, you know, depending on the prices. I'm not exactly sure how much they're going to charge. Um... So why don't we actually loiter out here until we get an idea of where the nighttime fish are going to spawn. Because we do want to catch that black grouper, and I'm not 100% sure where they're going to appear. Is this one of them? Uh, I don't think so. It doesn't really match the shape that I remember seeing. So we'll just go ahead and kill some time out here in the bay. Alright. Uh, let's maybe check this one out over here. Uh, that looks like what we were looking for, actually. Yep, black grouper. Okay. So, uh, we may have to discard this this great eel, but that's actually perfectly fine. This is all that we needed. Let's go ahead and turn on our lights. And, uh, the fog is coming in. Which is a problem. But nothing that we can't overcome. So here we are. We successfully docked. Cut that one a little bit close. And let's complete our order for the fishmonger. So this way will go right here. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. Been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. I've got one here for you. In fact, it's a bit banged up, but you could get it fixed at the shipwright. 
So we'll take this and throw it here in our inventory. Deploy a crab pot, don't forget where you put it. Should be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at sea anywhere, then come back after a day or two to check on it. I've got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. Alright, then we pass off the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. <sighs> ah, now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Um, I wonder... He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts. So I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. So now he's selling these crab pots. We've got this handkerchief. Now, what, pray tell, do I do with that? I'm going to go ahead and throw it in storage for the time being until <laughs> I figure out somebody who wants it. Um, you know what? That probably goes to the trader across the bay now that I think about it. The one in Lesser Moro, or Little Moro, whichever. I'm sure that's like the type of curio that he's looking to acquire. We'll go ahead and sell off the rest of the fish. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. Uh-oh, creeper alert. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear, I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Huh. There's a lot of um, mysterious, ambiguous figures. Alright, yes, yes, I know that uh, I don't have all the upgrades. So I guess I want to go to the shipwright. Uh, I would love you to repair the damage. So thirty-seven dollars. You know that's that's a little um, a little bit of a commitment of resources, but worth it in the long term. We've got two hundred and fifteen to work with right now. Uh, I wonder, is there anything here that's worth our money? I don't think there is really at the moment. So we'll just hang on to it and just save it for bigger and better things. Uh, but guys, I think this is a great place to pause for the time being. Um, sustainable fishing, 10% chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. Oh, that's good. So that means we'll have more of an opportunity to catch more fish from a single uh, fish stock area. So I guess these are kind of like passive buffs that will add up over time. A hefty tome in laborious read, it goes into great detail about techniques that can be employed to reduce the impacts of fishing upon fish stocks. Mentions something about ensuring a healthy ecosystem for future generations. So maybe that means that when, once the fish stocks are low, I want to stop? I don't know. We'll have to engage in a little bit of trial and error um, to see what will work for us. Um, what was marked on our map? This little, this is presumably Blackstone Isle. This was the quest that was just given to us. An encyclopedia has the grouper and the flounder that we have discovered. But I am already really, really enjoying this. Uh, I love just sort of the tranquility of the fishing, the, the beauty of the animation. Uh, amazing soundtrack so far. And of course, um, the mystery and the story on top of, all, of everything else that's going on. So I really, really hope that you're enjoying this as well. A little something different, um, but I'm having a great time and hope you will as well. I hope you will uh, consider following this series. Uh, as always, happy to hear what you think in the comments. And I'll see you next time on the next episode of Dredge.